Oh. Yeah. And well, Katy Perry came in. I know, and Thandie Newton. Yeah. What? So you missed all this. Yeah, so I should have came in a couple of hours earlier. Thandie Newton came in. Paddy Kilty came in. Katy Perry came in. Amazing, it's all been happening. Isn't Richard that? Curtis came in That's off right. of films. And that's just me. And now it's just you. Uh, You're so unpopular, the news reader doesn't even speak to you. <laughs> I've got the Napa Zappers, though. Hey, I brought those. The deafening device. It's really not the way that you get a polo girl. Uh, I'm told you. It's really yeah, not you tried them, haven't you? Yeah. Chidi, you ready? Yep. Ready. Okay. Are you ready to go home? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Now that's a woman's job satisfaction. Digital FM online. This, this is BBC Radio One. Here is the news machine. It's four thirty-four. The UN says a no-fly yeah, zone. Can be more at half five. Yay! Thank you, Jean. It's home time for Jean. Yeah, my weekend starts now. All right. Your weekend starts now. Why don't you come and hang out, Jean? Well, you asked me this earlier last morning, but I've got a cab. No, 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 forget the cab. Leave? We've got cakes down here and stuff, energy drinks. It's a regular party also. Mm. Because quite... that is the way to a woman's heart. Cake and energy drinks. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody invited me to a party and they went, there's cake and energy drinks, I'm thinking, I don't know what kind of party you have in store, but I am not interested. It's also quite man-heavy down here, Jean. Sort of hoping you could even out the numbers a little bit. Yeah, that's what girls like, though, isn't it? So you want me there just to even out the numbers? That's the only reason, but you know, okay, come hang out 10 minutes. Okay, five, I will. Please. I'll come down for five minutes oh, only to see the nappa zapper. Now, there's a lesson <laughs> for anybody and just keep on pestering, you keep on begging, and sooner or later it happens. Gene, you know, it's called nappa zapper. Oh, what, what did I call it? Oh, no, I'm just checking. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is BBC Radio One's longest show ever. She's not coming. With Chris Moyles. And Comedy, Comedy Dave. Dave. Hello. And Dan. Hi. Comic Relief. What hour? Hour 47. We have done 46 hours non stop on BBC Radio One myself and my friend Dave. Hi there. And we're joined by our other friend Dev. Hello. And his producer called Phil. Hello. There you go. And our producer Sam. Hello. He's a little bit too lively. <laughs> We're soon to be joined by Jean. She's from Radio 1 Newsbreed. And her and Dev get on like a house on fire. <laughs> Stick no, around. Like a house that's actually on, on fire. fire. Right, what have we got coming up in the next half hour of your show, Dev? Uh, we have uh, another surprise for you. Mm, great. Another blast from the past coming up. Wow. Um, got a few, a few of them in the show today, actually. A few, a few of them. Yeah. That's so what, like, less than a few? Yeah. Old archive material. Well, basically, a lot of the stuff that we didn't get to play yesterday and have time to... Right. And producer Voss spent a lot of time preparing, so, yeah, we'll so probably So it's happening, goddammit, one way <laughs> yeah, or another. Come on, what are we playing right. yet? Yeah. All right. If you would like to give us some money, that would be lovely. You can text my name, Chris, to 70011. It's going to cost a pound, plus your standard network message charge. The whole pound goes to cover relief. This is what we're doing. This is the final push. After 10.30, we will not ask you anymore. You're going to be 16 or over. Ask the bill post permission. Four times editions. Go to bbc.co.uk slash radio one. So, get your phone out. Write the word Chris. Send it to 70011. That's the word Chris. To seven double double one. Do we have a total, Phil? It's coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh, How is it good? Amazing. We want to raise as much money as we can. As much as we can. If you've been up all night watching, thank you very much. Dave and I have been up all night too. Hello there. I had a bit of a break, I had a shower. Oh, nice. So did I. And a bit of a get the hell out of the studio for half an hour, 40 minutes. That about the same sort of break, haven't we? Yeah. Same sort of time. You know when um, you were starting this, what was the estimate you had in your head? Money-wise? Yeah, like roughly. What did you think? £100,000. Really? Yep. Yeah. I thought if we raised... Because we did Scott, didn't we? And the Desert Trek, and we were plugged out every single day, and we got over half a million. Yeah. And I thought, well, this is like only two days, so I reckon, yeah... 100,000. And I thought, 000, even wow. if it went beyond there, then the absolute ultimate target would be 200, 250,000. Well, listen, I want to try and get 300,000 between now and 10.30 this morning. That's what I would love. I would love it. So we're begging you, if you can afford it, to send a text 
saying Chris to 70011. It's a pound to current relief. A pound. If you can give us a tenner or 20, you can go via the website, bbc.co.uk slash radio one. But if you just want to do it now, get your phone out. Text the word Chris, 70011. It's a pound. Takes you 10 know, seconds. Do you want to know how much we've got so far? Yeah, mm. go on. All right. I will tell you. Jingle, please. Thank you very much if you've given us some money. If you haven't, please do it now. Because the estimated total fundraising amount for Radio 1 looks like it's now going to be £1,207,000. Oh, wow. It's amazing, isn't it? Thank you so much to everybody who has donated. Incredible. Amazing. It's about £7,100 on top of £1.2 million, which is great. Thank you so much. It's very generous, but mm. it's not enough. Well, it's enough. It's great. We're being greedy. Plainly <laughs> greedy. We want some wine or so, please. Thanks to word Chris right now. It's 70011. We'll have another update when? 6.30? Do you actually know or are you just nodding? <laughs> just a green... <laughs> There's a match in the class. Andy just gave it the most unconvincing. Yep, sure. Well, that, that'll do, whatever. Why not? If whatever you like. you say. Yep. All right, so see how much we can get in the next two hours. Text the word Chris to 70011. All right, I won't ask you again for a while. At least five minutes. At least. Okay. £1.2 million. Pounds. Thank you very, very much. It's amazing, isn't it, Dev? Incredible. Is your newsreader friend here, yeah. Has she not come down yet? No, she... Sh should I leave for a bit and then maybe she'll pop in? Probably. Well. 4.42. This is BBC Radio One's longest show ever. Ever. With Chris Moyles. Hello. And Comedy Dave. Hello. And Dan. Hi there. Comic Relief. Hour 47. It doesn't matter if you love him or capital H-I-M. Bye, Jean. Jean. See you later. You Bye. just missed out, listeners. Jean and Dev had a conversation. Yay. It was civil. It was polite. There was no problems, no nothing. She isn't running away. Once again, though, no, the just... signs that Dev is well and truly single are so apparent. <laughs> so, hey, I this try. girl who's ready to go home, she's worked all night, on, uh, all night long on Newsbeat. Her car is waiting to take her home. Taxi's booked. And Dev goes... Well, why don't you come down and see us? We're having a party. Uh, do you know what? I'll come down. All right, yes. And she walks to the door and goes, Hi. The first thing you said to her was, We're stopping you from going home, aren't we? <laughs> if you have said that to me, I'd go like that. Do you know what? You stick your party up. I'd have done one. I've gone. Because I thought I'd have been like, you'd Taking a mickey. I'm such a smooth Yeah, operator, but she, she, didn't, she didn't run away. She just walked away at pace. <laughs> Hurriedly. Mumbling under her breath. Mm. He's a div. Sing on time. ba 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 it's nine minutes to five in the morning. Can I do drums? Yeah, do drums. Ooh. That's nice. Thank you. Yeah. Do them, do them. Animal out of Sesame Street. <laughs> Did you see that? The I saw then? you. No, you didn't. I, I was. I was not yawning. You were. <laughs> I wasn't. Do you know? By the way, I had a massive one before, which I hid from you. What? Oh yeah. A massive yawn. Stop showing up. Oh, massive oh, yawn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a massive one. Yeah. Yeah. I just had a big yawn. Anyway, right. Hey, what are we doing? Would you guys like a surprise mystery caller? Nah, I'm alright. Oh, okay, cool. Let's play another record then. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, um, the caller is on line one right now. Hello, mystery caller. Um, do I disguise my voice? Um, if you like, if you want. Yeah. Okay, hello. 
Okay. That was in disguise. Um, hello, Mystery Caller, where in the world do you live right now? Oh, um, I, I live in Canada. Right. Oh, my God. But obviously, you're not originally from Canada, though, right? Dave, do you know who he is? Not yet, I don't. <laughs> See, you thought this yesterday, though, Chris. You oh, no, you I know who like, this is. No, hang on. So this is someone that, that I know, is yeah. it? Well, I know it is. We slept together. No, no joking. Uh-uh. <laughs> Five times. <laughs> and they live in Canada. <laughs> if you keep watching Dave's face, it's going to dawn on him. Mystery uh, ask, caller, uh, uh, ask, ask some questions. Question. Ask me another question. Okay, then, mystery person. Are you a mystery person from the world of music? Um, Maybe. Yeah, why not? I would say no. (laughs) Okay, are you an actress? Um, definitely not. Okay. Oh, I know who it is! (laughs) I just realised! It's Lizzie! Yay! Yay! Yay. Yay. How are you? I'm really good. How are you guys doing? Yay! Congratulations, Liz! (laughs) Never been better. Lizzie's a mummy now. I know, for five weeks. Are you a mummy, yeah, really? five weeks ago. Yeah. Dave, you're a daddy. Congratulations. I know. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm How single and lonely. Hi. Oh. <laughs> hey. Yeah, don't laugh, all right? Leave it out, will you? Uh, Lizzie used to work on our show, and she was what they called a broadcast assistant. Gin-soaked. Gin soaked <laughs> broadcast system. Mm. And we had no, many, many good time with uh, Lizzie. Oh, yeah. Lizzie. Aww. Lizzie had so many fun memories. We were talking about her the other day. Was it was it, was it with you? I don't know, I don't think so. I was having a conversation with Lizzie the other about Lizzie the other day. And she used to work on the show. And but so many times we had a good laugh with her. Now I can tell oh, you. Oh, it few, was a lovely time. I tell you some funny stories or some lovely stories. You want a lovely story? <laughs> there was a magazine once did <laughs> The magazine once did, like, females in radio, glamorous females oh, on yeah. radio. Very nice. So she did a photo shoot. Was it FHM? Oh, that haunts me still, you know. That's not even funny. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why didn't it, she come, it didn't she come out bad, actually? Amazing. Amazing. FHM. She she was was only, she's only really small. She's, like, you know, four foot one or something. But... In had, the heels. Had really long legs, seemingly, in this picture, and she looked amazing. And, like, and just went... Like, mates were reading and going... Do you really work with her? And I'm like, yeah, Lizzie, yeah, she's great. Do you remember the jail mail I got from that? Yeah, well, yeah, there was yeah, jail mail. We had to yeah. ban yeah. some of that. Yeah. However, the, the contrast of that is we were once in Manchester and we're going to the awards ceremony Ooh. and we're leaving this hotel <laughs> and she's wearing a very short dress. And because it's cold outside in Manchester and a bit drizzly, she's wearing her parka over it. <laughs> and her parka Classy. just covers the dress. Yeah. Anyway, we booked a very nice car through the BBC to take us to the awards ceremony because we're working. So she goes, I'll go outside and find our car. And what happened it was, like that. <laughs> for the next few minutes, she went up to all these waiting taxis outside and rather than say, are you booked for the BBC, she leant over in a very short skirt and went, are you looking for me? <laughs> Are you looking for me? For fans of classic British comedy, she looks a bit like Aveline out of bread. No way! <laughs> She's like that. And all, everyone said no! All the cabbies <laughs> are giving me dirty looks. I went, they think you're a hooker. How rude! <laughs> so they stuck at the end of the door the taxi going, Are you busy? Are you waiting for someone? Is it me? No, that, no you're not like love. Fuck someone. What do you do now, Lizzie? Um, well, I'm, I'm actually trained to be a veterinary technician, so you'll be looking after animals. And apart from that, lots of house whiffery right now with the young one. Oh, nice. And I'm married. I have a husband. I'm all grown No up. way. Um, Some poor man's married you? <laughs> guess what his name is, Chris? Uh, Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chris. Is it Chris? Yes. Ah. Oh. Isn't that lovely? How long have you been married? Oh, I got, um, we eloped last summer. We went to Costa Rica and we came back pregnant. Oh, what, him as well? (laughs) I'm never going there, lucky man. (laughs) We're on Oprah next week. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Lizzie, it's lovely to talk to you. I was genuinely having a conversation with someone about, I thought it was with Dave about you the other day. Uh, Are you all happy though? You seem very happy. No, I'm grand, I'm grand, but congratulations, guys. It's amazing what you've done. You must be very, very tired, and congratulations on having a dry St. Patrick's Day, too. I know, that's a first. 
know. It's not, you're in a pint of are Guinness. You drinking, are you going to be drinking once you're off air? No, <laughs> you bet your life we are. <laughs> Good for you. So I'm going to start the taxi on the way home. I've got a hip <laughs> flask. <laughs> I'll call the taxi for you. I'm good at that. Yeah. Are you looking for me? <laughs> are you for him? Are you looking for business? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>